Hi everybody, welcome back to Aqua Collective. I'm Trial Eclipse and today I'm following up on my last video where I talked about an ammonia spike and why not to panic. Um, basically I wanted to kickstart uh, the nitrogen cycle or in aquaponics what a lot of people like to call cycling up my system. Um, so what I did the measures I took when I noticed the ammonia spike. Um, the first thing I did was I checked for any dead fish uh, or excess proteins in the system. So any food left behind, uh, I cleaned out any all the fish waste that was in there and, and just gave it a good cleaning. Uh, the second thing I did was I turned down the temperature. So, which I regulate right here. So I turned down the temperature. Th these are things that would happen in nature if an ammonia spike happened, say, in a pond. Uh, that normally happens towards the end of a season uh, when the population is very high. You're, you know, they're respirating. They're, uh, well, they're they're pooping and peeing in the pond, and ammonia is going to go up. Uh, what what chills that out is a temperature drop and seasonal rains. So you can look at it like that would be a water change, but really what is going to control it is the oxidization that is caused by the rains. So I added O2. Um, I, I didn't want to panic. I didn't want to have to go to the store and use any store-bought chemicals. I just want to use chemicals that are found in nature. Um, which yes you can buy at a store but I'm letting it, it cycle all on its own um, this is really a ecology experiment for me as it is for for everyone uh, in a way so what happened was I noticed a pH drop now with pH uh, you can kinda look at it like a behavioral chart for a child at school uh, it's it's really how your hydrogen is behaving in your system and mine dropped so you can look at it this way okay your pH is on green for the day so it had a good day okay if it's on yellow it had a bad day it needs to chill out but if it's on blue it gets rewarded and you get a, a positive positively charged ion for the day we'll look at it that way so that's basically what happened. So I, I got ammonium developed in the system. Uh, ammonium is a good thing. Um, it's less toxic for the fish and it has a positive charge. I mean it wants to it wants to freely share its molecular structure with other compounds. So um, and that's what I want. Uh, I also noticed a nitrite spike, uh, but since I'm increasing the amount of dissolved oxygen in the system, I also saw some nitrates, which is a really good sign. That means that I have bacteria growth occurring. I've created life. So, and that's what cycling up is, is getting, getting bacteria to grow in your system. Uh, so through my biofilters over there, in my grow bed and inside the plumbing I have nitrogen bacteria and that's exactly what cycling up is that's exactly what I want to happen uh, the fish are doing great um, I'm probably gonna feed them today it's only been a, a couple of days uh, so they'll be nice and hungry now and ammonia and ammonium are at stable levels uh, nitrites are a little high but they're breaking down quickly um, because I'm having what what in nature would be a bloom uh, I'm having a burst of growth in bacteria and you can't see it as well in my plants but believe me they're experiencing a bloom right now and which is good for everyone in you know in nature and in aquaponics so my fish are happy and healthy and probably pretty hungry so that's the goal for the day so once again if you're experiencing an ammonia spike 
you know, there, those are some steps that you can take to use that spike to your advantage in a new system. If this is a, an old system that's been running for, you know, say six months or more, and I experienced something like that, something would be wrong. But since this is a new system, that's absolutely what you're supposed to expect. So I hope that answers some questions. If you have any more, you know, go ahead and feel free to comment below. Uh, I'll be happy to answer anything, or, or if you have any comments, I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching.